buckle up, because scientists are taking us back in time to an astonishing find that's turning the clocks on human history. On the border where Zambia meets Tanzania, near a river, archaeologists have made a jaw-dropping discovery. Remnants of a wooden structure that's almost half a million years old. What's even more mind-blowing? This prehistoric wonder predates our species Homo sapiens, who we thought emerged about 300,000 years ago. So, if it was built earlier, does this mean our understanding of human evolution needs an update? Join us as we dive into this year's biggest archaeological revelation and uncover the secrets of the world's oldest wooden structure. Get ready to challenge everything you thought you knew about our ancient ancestors. Wood has been a top pick for building materials for an insane 10,000 years, we're talking homes built way back then using timber as their main go-to source. One of the most impressive ancient wooden structures is the Neolithic Longhouse from 6000 BC. It was huge, housing around 30 people and proving our early Stone Age families didn't actually live a nomadic lifestyle like we thought. But hold on to your seat, because a game-changing discovery just turned all this on its head. Imagine stumbling upon a piece of history that's almost half a million years old. That's exactly what happened in Zambia. In 2019, researchers made an incredible discovery at Colombo Falls in the north of the country. While digging, they found some seriously ancient wooden objects like tools and parts of a mysterious structure. Now you might think it's super rare to find wood from the Stone Age, because it needs just the right conditions to survive. But these treasures were perfectly preserved underwater. Talk about lucky. As they carefully excavate this prehistoric wonder, they're using special plastic tools that won't damage the edges so we can learn all about how our ancestors built it. Check this out, we've got a real sharp tool here. This ancient device boasts an impressive, wide blade. But what's even more mind-blowing is the clever way its wooden components are put together. At first glance, it seems like a jumbled mess of overlapping pieces, but take a closer look and you'll spot something truly ingenious. A notch in the middle piece that's been deliberately carved out. The tapered ends surrounding this notch fit snugly onto a supporting tree branch below, creating a sturdy base for this ancient marvel. Get this, we're talking about a tree that's not just any ordinary tree. It's got some serious history etched into it, with marks from ancient wooden tools that helped create the world's oldest structure. The team thinks this basic setup, made by two logs shaped with sharp stone tools, might have been part of a path or stage for our early ancestors who called the Colombo River home. What's even cooler is these logs show evidence of being hacked, chopped, and scraped using multiple stones found at the same spot. But here's where it gets really wild one log, a type of bush willow was placed on top of another and held in place by an enormous U-shaped notch carved into its bottom. Meet Professor Larry Barham, an archaeologist from the University of Liverpool who made a jaw-dropping discovery. When he first laid eyes on this ancient structure, he thought he was dreaming. It just didn't seem possible. The blend of wood and stone reveals a level of brilliance, technical know-how and planning that's truly impressive. We wouldn't normally expect these kinds of skills from our early human ancestors who lived an astonishing half a million years ago. But what really had Larry stumped was figuring out the purpose of that wooden piece with an unmistakable notch. How did it play a role in building this incredible structure? Professor Barham's mind started racing like a kid on a playground after revisiting a classic favorite, Lincoln Logs. You know how those iconic toys connect perfectly due to their notches. It's genius. That clever design lets you stack them up and build an entire city in no time. Well, Professor Barham saw the same potential for his mysterious wooden log. He pieced together the puzzle and realized that its notch wasn't just a random feature. It was a key part of something way bigger, a massive structure waiting to be uncovered. Imagine if this little notch had been there. It would have been like a secret superpower, keeping everything locked in place and stable. It's crazy how much of a game-changer that small detail could have been for the whole structure. Professor Barham thinks this might have been part of a walkway or even the base for a special platform. And what did they use these platforms for? Maybe it was like a cozy spot to stash firewood and food, keeping them dry and protected from the elements. Or maybe it was where people would sit down, relax, and get creative, building new things and making memories. Imagine having your very own treehouse with a secret hitty out on top, but this isn't just any ordinary treehouse, it's in the middle of Colombo Falls in Africa, surrounded by an epic 770-foot waterfall plunging into Lake Tanganyika. Scientists first visited this spot back in 2006 to dig for treasures but had to wait until 2019 to come back. When they got there though, they were bummed to see the river had changed course and flooded their excavation site. But being the adventurous crew they are, they came up with a plan, jumped down a 30-foot cliff onto a tiny beach along the Colombo River. 
Little did they know, this little adventure would lead them to some seriously cool finds like a 390,000-year-old digging stick. They also stumbled upon other old tools made from wood, such as a wedge, a splitting branch with a notch, and an old log cut at both ends. Talk about unearthing history, right? Imagine stumbling upon secrets that have been locked away for ALF a million years. These ancient wooden wonders were frozen in time, perfectly preserved by waterlogged sediments that sucked out all the oxygen. It's like Mother Nature hit pause on this incredible discovery. Professor Barham thinks this site is a real game changer, it could be way older than we initially thought. And here's the mind-blowing part this region might just hold many more hidden treasures, making its archaeological significance totally off the charts. That's why the professor is teaming up with the Zambian government to get Colombo Falls recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, giving it the global recognition it deserves. Get ready for a mind-blowing fact. The world's oldest man-made structure predates our very own species, Homo sapiens. This ancient wonder might have been crafted by our incredible ancestor, Homo heidelbergensis. Who is this mysterious creature? Well, the first fossils of Homo heidelbergensis were discovered in 1908 near Heidelberg, Germany. Let's dive into what made them so unique. They had a prominent brow ridge, a larger brain case compared to earlier humans, and a flatter face. But here's the amazing part, these early humans were true survivors, adapting to harsher climates with their short, sturdy bodies designed for retaining heat. Get ready for a game changer. These ancient humans weren't just wandering nomads, they were master builders. The world's oldest wooden structure blows that theory out of the water and shows us that our ancestors were seriously resourceful. With wood and rock, they constructed simple homes that stood the test of time. And we've got proof at Colombo Falls where they had a constant water source a forest loaded with food, and enough stability to build solid structures, proving they were more than just wanderers, they were settlers. According to Professor Barham, this find completely flipped his perspective on our early ancestors. Let's talk about this mind-blowing moment in history, when our ancient ancestors stepped up and built something massive out of wood, think big canoes or boats. It was pure genius on their part as it showcased their problem-solving skills, creativity, and ability to push boundaries by creating something entirely new that had never been seen before. Buckle up, history buffs. We've got a game-changer to talk about when it comes to the Stone Age. You might be picturing rough around the edges cavemen living in rocky dens, but hold that thought. Recent finds are throwing us for a loop. They're revealing early humans didn't just roam free like nomads, but actually built settled communities with reliable food sources. That's right, these ancient hominins were not just surviving, they were thriving and planning ahead. To construct such structures required serious brain power, organization, and likely a common language to boot. Get ready to have your mind blown. New discoveries in Africa are rewriting history books on woodworking, showing us early humans were way more skilled than we thought. This breakthrough takes us back thousands of years and gives us a peek into how our ancestors crafted comfortable homes from scratch. It's no longer just about nomadic foragers, it seems they had some serious DIY skills. The big question is, what other secrets are still hiding in the pages of human evolution history? Let us know your thoughts, hit that comment button. If you loved what we've shared so far, don't forget to show your support by giving us a thumbs up in the comments below. And why not take it a step further? Hit that subscribe button now to stay up to date on all our latest adventures and hit the notification bell for the ultimate insider experience.